Hi everyone, this is Andy with Bloomberg.com and in this video we're going to review Trello. This app will help you track and manage all your projects from one place, focusing on team collaboration. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Here we review productivity software for personal and business use and also make tutorials about the apps that we like the most. So if you like the content, please consider subscribing. All right, let's start. Trello is a very flexible application that you can use in multiple ways, like a CRM, fulfillment center, HR software, and more. But in this video, we're going to focus on using it as a project manager software, and we will be using the paid version, which is called Business Class. Logging to Trello brings you to the home screen, where you can find your workspaces, as well as a navigation menu. In this case, I'm in the operations workspace, where you can see all the boards related. Boards are projects. To open a project, just click on it. This new window shows all the different lists we have, which are the columns, and in them we also have cards or tasks. This view is called Kanban view, but there are different views that you can choose. The idea here is to move the cards or tasks to the done column. To add a new task, just click on the add card button, write the task name, and then click on add task. When you open a task, you will see more information about it, like members, labels, description, and activities. You can also make any changes from this panel, like adding a checklist, location, cover, and attaching files. Back on the home screen, the Boards tab shows all your boards regarding the workspace. The Templates tab shows all the templates available so you can easily create a project. And the Home tab shows a snapshot of your tasks, activities, and boards. On the top of the screen, you can find the main navigation bar. The first icon allows you to switch between apps if you use any other Atlassian apps like Jira. Then we have the home icon, the quick access to boards, and the search bar. On the right side we have the quick add button, the information center, the notification center, and our profile. I think Trello is really well designed and it is easy to get used to. The user interface is very friendly and the navigation is simple. Something I want to bring up is that if you're used to work on spreadsheets, you can see the project information in a table, but to do it, you have to open the project and then click on Open Workspace Table. Other project managers have the table as a default view, and you can move from there. Here are the features I like the most about Trello. In the Templates tab, you will find a lot of pre-made templates that you can use for your projects. They are organized by category, so you can find the right template for your project. Another template feature is that you can create card templates or task templates. If you use similar cards over and over, you can make it a template and reuse it. The next feature I want to mention is Advanced Checklist. Any task can have a checklist inside, and the cool thing is that you can assign the items on the list to other people. Maybe you're responsible for the task, but other team members can be responsible for the checklist items. Regarding views, I really like the map view that shows on the map all the cards that have a location set. Finally, I wanted to mention dashboards. This feature will show you a snapshot of the project. As the project manager, you will be able to know what's the status of the project in seconds. Let's talk about customization. You can create different workspaces to keep your projects organized. In the workspaces, you will find your projects. Each project is very customizable. You can add as many columns as you need, as well as changing the views, changing the background, adding stickers to the cards, and changing the labels. Also, you have Power Up. This allows you to add more functionality to the board. For example, you can add custom fields, smart fields, voting, and more. There are a lot of options available. We mentioned the map view before, but there are other options available that will let you customize how you see your projects. The timeline view lets you see the tasks organized by due date. Something to keep in mind is that all the customizations are done at a project level. So if you want to use them on a different project, you will have to create a template. First, you can copy the board, and then you can create a template. Automations are really important if you want to work effectively. Trello has two types of automations. On one side, we have rules that are workflows triggered by actions or dates. When you create a rule, you can set the trigger from the list, including card movements, changes, dates, and checklists. Then you can select the action or actions that will be performed automatically. I also wanted to mention that you can create commands as well related to calendar or due dates, but we will not review them in this video. Another way to automate actions is by creating buttons. You can do it at a card or task level or at a project level. The button will trigger the action when you click on it. 
so you won't be setting up a trigger, just the action. This is a really cool feature that I don't see in many other apps. Let's go over integrations. Trello has the feature called Power Apps, where you will be able to find all the integrations available. We already mentioned this before, because you can customize your boards with Power Apps, but you can also set integrations with other apps, like Gmail, Google Drive, Box, Microsoft Teams, Slack, CRMs like Salesforce, Soho CRM, and a lot more. Once the integration is set up, you will be able to find it in each card. Keep in mind that the integrations are also created at a project level. Setting up Trello was really easy. There is a guide that shows you your first steps, and if you have any issues, you can use the information center. Also, creating new projects simplified with the templates gallery available. Customizing the boards is simple as well, but you will be have to learn how to create the automations you need. There are several options here, so it might be confusing at the beginning. You can use the power apps to add custom fields and set up the integrations. And adding users is straightforward. Overall, you won't have any issues setting up this application. Let's go over pricing. Today, we review the business class version of Trello that costs $12.50 per user per month, billed monthly. I think this is a really good price for what you get, and there are other project managers out there with similar features, but that are more expensive. Also, Trello is one of the most popular apps in this category, which is a good sign. There is a free version available, but it is very limited if you're planning to use this for your business. I recommend Trello to any organization that is looking for a very flexible tool that will help them organize their business or team in a wide variety of projects. I think Trello is great for small teams with potential to be scalable, but there are some features missing that make me not to recommend it to bigger teams, like the lack of a feature to add tasks using a form, the ability to track time, and the table view as default. Don't get me wrong, you will be able to manage your project with Trello, and there is a big chance that they will be adding these features in the future. Also, keep in mind that this app is more affordable than other options out there. If you would like a project manager that can do more, you can try Asana or ClickUp. They are more expensive, but have more project manager-oriented features. And if you want something less expensive, check out Soho Projects. I have reviewed all those apps, so I will leave links in the video description. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up. I have a question for you. Are you currently using a project management like Trello? And if you do, which one are you using? Let me know in the comments down below. And also remember to check out the other videos I have on this channel. Thanks for watching.